Hello guys, welcome to the channel MH4K. In this video, I'll be talking to you about how can you renew the SSL for free certificate free again to regain the access into your website. So I've got the email in my Gmail. So it says uh, your SSL certificate is expired. So actually I got this email uh, one week ago and again I received when it is expired. So the point of this video is to tell you how can you renew this and uh, this is going to be very easy because last time I made a video on how to fix uh, future home of something quite cool and that video was a hit according to me because it was uh, clearly a hundred percent fix to the problem and it worked for mostly everyone uh, most of the user commented like uh, it worked for me uh, bro thanks thanks a lot so on that video I uh, actually explained how to regain the access into your into your website and that was using the ssl for free so the point of this video because uh, the demerit of that video was the solution you can say that that was giving only three months of ssl certificate access and after that you need to renew so this is the point of this video that's why i'm making the new one or you can follow the earlier one the video is given in the description down below so if you are facing problem regarding that you can get it so here's the website you can see it is not secure anymore by default it is running with the http and uh, you can see the there is no uh, certificate so if it would be valid it would have shown uh, the actual certificate so anyway uh, coming to the point let's begin with this video now so as you can see it is not secure anymore so the website is down i mean not down but it is not secure anymore it don't have the https tag so the first thing we have to go to the ssl for free service and you can get the link from the description down below or you can type in manually into google and now here you need to enter the website uh, which ever you have so in my case i'm just going to copy and paste this one and going to create free SSL certificate so this is going to take a little bit of time or maybe will get happen in just few seconds so it depends all in your internet uh, connection speed so anyway here we have the cPanel on the other tab and you can see my hosting panel so after in my case I'm using the GoDaddy uh, hosting service so it might be different for all of you guys because the cPanel is everywhere in different options. So coming to the free SSL, you need to click over the manual verification. After that, you need to come down uh, to the manual verification and we need to upload a few files into the cPanel file manager. So clicking over manual verified domain. Okay, so here we have the instructions. So you can see the instruction, it says download few files, one or two. This is the same uh, thing which we have done before. So we don't need to follow the same pattern again. I'm in the same instructions. So how to uh, deal with this? Let's see. So uh, the first thing we need to download these two files and we need to upload these files into the dot well known folder and within that we need to upload it within dot acme challenge so the file is in the file manager of cpanel coming to the cpanel file manager moving to public html and here you will be able to see all the folders and whichsoever is hidden you can just clear the attribute so you can read the hidden files all the hidden file will be named with the prefix dot and so on whatever the name is you can read it so here we have wp um the well known dot well known so this is the folder that i created before just to solve the problem and to get this free certificate so clicking over this folder and within this folder one more folder is exist dot acme challenge and here we have two files these are two obsolete files that uh, uploaded that i uploaded to get the free SSL, SSL certificate so I don't need it anymore uh, because we gonna upload the fresh one so just delete you can skip the trash because we don't need it anymore so okay so now let's upload the fresh one coming to the SSL uh, for free site I'm going to hit over the first file downloading the first file here we have the first one and the other one 
so we have downloaded the files the required files and now we need to upload it so make sure you know the location where it is right now so it is within the download folder by default so uh, it will be easier for me to look at so okay so now I'm going to upload and I'm going to look at the files so let's locate the first one and the another one okay so we are done with the files uh, we have successfully uploaded all the files which uh, are actually required so we are done with this part okay and now we need to make sure the uh, files are successfully uploaded and uh, to make sure that you need to click over these two links one by one because it will show the file names and clicking over the first link and the second link okay okay so click the first one you can see the name of the file and the another one is the name of the file so we have successfully uploaded those files within the cPanel of file manager within the respective folders and now we need to download the SSL certificate so the SSL certificate uh, folder is going to be or you can see say the whatever the file type is is going to download uh, easily that is not very huge that's completely very light in size so okay so before download it says uh, please log in just uh, to make me remind uh, whenever it is near to the expiration date so it can remind me you can renew and whatever so if you don't have uh, any existing uh, login credentials with this site you can create new one or you can add or if you are an existing user you can just log in okay so here we have the notification SSL for free new certificate and I got this email actually uh, not just one time two time about three times so they are quite generous and very good people <laughs> Who actually reminds uh, to renew a certificate so it doesn't matter you can uh, if uh, there is uh, one week left or if uh, no matter it doesn't matter you can just renew it just after even 10 days so you it's all up to you how you want to go through with this so here we have the zip file okay so now I'm going to extract the contents within this uh, folder and I'm going to extract it into the desktop. I'm going to name it with SSL so it will be easier for me to locate and upload the files. So we are done with this part. Okay, so now we have to uh, come back to the cPanel and we need to move to the SSL and TLS tab. So this tab contains three features uh, first one is about your the private key second one is about the certificate third part is to verify all the a key and certificates and then it enables the HTTPS service so if you have any existing key on the cPanel of SSL and TLS you can delete because we have generated successfully new uh, certificate so we need to delete the existing one deleting the private key done going back to the page and now I'm going to look at the fresh dot private key from the desktop folder done upload so we are done with this private key and now we have to go back again in case to upload the certificates so we are done with the key part and now we have to go to the certificate tab okay so it is not taking the back uh, command so we need to go back manually to the cpanel so we can redirect to this page coming down again back to the ssl and tls loading crts so click over this tab done okay so it don't have any certificates 
maybe we have selected the command like uh, deleting the private key that's why it's automatically deleted so anyway upload the certificate now it is taken the expiration date and the every required detail which is supposed to have a website so the next expiration date is uh, about uh, around the september i guess yes 9th is september okay so we are done with the certificate part we are done with the private key part and now we have to install all and everything is here now going back to the cpanel and we will do that but before that you need to upload the certificate the another one okay so okay we are done now the last and final part is to install so you need to come back here three times first time for the private key second time for the ssl cert uh, i mean the certificate there are two certificate and now we are done because we have uh, so if you see any existing actions to perform on the tab you can uninstall if it has any existing older certificate so that's all hit uninstall proceed done now we need to select our domain subdomain click over autofill by domain and it has taken all the required uh, private keys certificates and everything and now the new expiration date you can see is 9 9-3 I mean the 3rd September and we are done install certificate and you can see SSS L has been successfully configured in your web server so the site is now back into its original state and you can now refresh your website and you can see it has the SSL certificate with valid dates and valid protocol configuration so uh, let me type HTTPS so you can see the certificate and your detail okay so you can see the certificate it says it's valid for next three months so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if it uh, was easy make sure you leave a positive comment down below and if it really helped you guys so make sure you leave a like and thanks for watching once again if you still have any doubt you can ask me down in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye peace